Hi everyone, welcome back to Voxtrust. In this tutorial, we will show you how to dynamically display and hide multiple business process flows in Model Driven application or Dynamics 365 app based on a choice column. We will also see how we can enhance our app's functionality by switching between different processes seamlessly. It also improves user experience and process management. If you have any query related to your Power Platform solution, you can contact us through our website, email or phone. So let's get started and take your business process flow to the next level. I have already created two business process flow. Let me show you. One is application process and another one is enrollment process. So what we want to do here we want to switch these two processes based on this choice column. If I select application process, so application process should display here. If I select enrollment process, so enrollment process should display here. Okay. For showing and hiding business process flow as per this process type choice, I have already created a JavaScript function, switch BPF. And we are passing the execution context and what we are doing then we are getting the value of our process type and based on process type we are showing and hiding the bus uh, business process flows okay and if nothing is selected then we are not showing anything we are hiding all the business process flow the one more main thing here is we need business process flows id okay like this is the id for application process and enrollment business process flows ID is that one. So how we can get these IDs? Okay, I have already created a video on it. If you haven't watched, I would, I would highly recommend to watch that video on how we can get the business process flows ID, but I can show you how we can get, okay? Just go to your business process flows and just click on business process flows one by one. Now this is my enrollment business process flows and Another one is my application process flow. <clears throat> you can get business process flows ID uh, from URL. Leave two characters, characters after percentile sign. Okay. And just start copying ID till percentile sign. So this will be your ID. So if I copy this one and paste it here in my here. Okay, so if you will notice, this is similar to this ID is similar to this application process PPF ID, right? Now I'm going to remove this one from here. Okay. Similarly, you can get ID for your another business process flow and use it, replace uh, it in code. Okay. I'll provide this code in my description. Also, you can get this code from my, dis uh, this video's description also. Now what we are going to do, we are going to add this, uh, JavaScript on load of our form and on change of, uh, this process type choice column. Let's go to your table. Like I have my student table here. Go to forms and then main form of the, your table. Okay. When it comes to like adding JavaScript, I'm not a big fan of new designer. So I always, I always switch to a classic view and we are going to add our JavaScript file from here, JavaScript function from here. Now what we are going to do here, go to form properties and go to add in form libraries, click on add and click on new. And then, okay, what we are going to do here, we are going to name here BP, BPF, show BPF, show hide B. B, B, F. Okay. And similarly, show hide 
B P F. Okay. Now the type of this script is going to be JavaScript. Click on text editor and now let's copy this code and paste it here in the editor. Click on OK. Save it. Publish it. And publish all customization then. It might take a few seconds. Okay. Now <coughs> publish all customization is completed. We are going to close close this pop up, and we are going to click on this uh, newly added JavaScript file and click on add. Now what we are going to do? We are going to add. uh the function the switch bpf function just copy the name of switch uh your function name and we are going to add uh add the function on form loads on load event okay forms on load event now copy the function name here and we are going to take this pass execution context as first parameter here right why we are going to add uh tick the execution context because we are passing execution context as a first parameter here now click on okay and similarly what we are going to do click on your choice column go to events okay and on change property on on change event click on add and similarly paste your uh, function name here and take this on pass execution context as first parameter and now click on okay save publish now let's go back to our main form and let me just uh, reload it uh reload your form for couple of times okay now now i'm going to change this process type this is an for now application process is selected so we can see the uh we can see the business process flow is related to application process right now i am going to change this to enrollment process okay once we selected enrollment process now we can see in enrollment process application uh, business process flow is displayed here so and what we can do okay let's we will check also one more time when once we load yep now we can see enrollment process flow uh, here because the process type is enroll enrollment process flow if enrollment process type is equal to application process then the application process flow should display now i am going to save and close so that's all for this video guys if you uh, if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching this video bye bye